Now if I open it. Bada bing bada boom. Alright, so I see we got the game sounds. Um, probably won't be hanging out long to be honest. That is no problem, Lupus. I appreciate you stopping on by. All day cooking. Ah, oh, delicious. Tried a meal prep for the first time. I, I'm very on and off with meal prepping. It's more like I make a big batch of stew and that's my meal prep. <laughs> What'd you uh, end up making? Is it just like one dish or just a, a, a variety of things? We want subtitles. Always subtitles. Um, we'll take hold crouch. All right. Got that. I also tried to mess with a little bit with that uh, scene lighting. Family is all bots and like having variety, not eating the same thing over and over and over. Yeah. Some people can just eat the same meal every day. Um, I can't, I can do that for like a couple days, but no matter how tasty it is, eventually I gotta mix it up. If they make a bunch of only one food, it usually goes bad before everyone finishes it. Yeah, and that's usually my problem, is because it's, like, if I cook a huge batch of things, there's only me to eat it. Sometimes I can't do that before things start going bad. <laughs> and I have a problem where... I always make too much, because whenever I make stew, I'll have my base dish. You know, I'll have, you know, some meats, some other veggies. And then while I'm going to the grocery store, because um, I like hitting up a... It's not really a farmer's market, but it's much closer to a farmer's market than, like, a big box like Walmart. Because it has a lot of local and seasonal stuff. And I'll see, like, oh, I haven't cooked with that vegetable before. Oh, I haven't had that before. Let me grab that. Let me grab one of those. Let me grab one of those. And, like, I end up with, like, my stew pot will fill all the way to the very brim. And it's like, Drecky. Drecky, you can't keep doing this, Drecky. You know you won't be able to eat all... You know it's going to fuck up all the cooking times like this. Cottage pie, teriyaki, chicken with... Like, oh, spaghetti. Mmm, mmm, mmm. All of those are bangers. Hell yeah. I also subscribe to, like, I am not good at biology. I chose IT, so I don't know too much about specific nutritional stuff. So I, I do what I call the, the rainbow style, where I try to get as many different colors on my plate as possible. And my thought process is, like, each of those colors is made up of different chemical compounds. So I assume I'm getting a variety of minerals and vitamins. And it's been okay so far. <laughs> ah! I can't believe you'd do that to me, Aurora. Yeet me into the void like that. Also, uh, spin has finally been upgraded. Why is there four difficulties? Hmm. Whee! <laughs> now with sound effects and a smoother spin. Does the spin plus yeet glitch no longer work? Are you talking about where I was yeeted right in the middle of a spin? If so, yes, that glitch will still work. Maybe. I don't remember if the end of the spin... I think it depends. I'm trying to remember how much I changed the spin from the GUI to pure code. And there was also a bug I found that I left in. Rarely that can happen. Um, it'll be very obvious when it happens. And I need to make a specific sound effect for it, but I haven't figured out how I would time it out. I might need to just make a, a way to manually trigger the bug and then just time how long it takes and then think of a good sound bite to record for it. Um, let's go with hard. Or, oh shoot. 
before I start, um, let's make sure we have a content warning for Outlast. Something I could pin. Content warning. Let's see, Outlast takes place in an asylum. So we're gonna implicitly horror game in an asylum. Uh, we're gonna have uh, we're gonna have abuse, um, emotional distress, gore. Uh, I'm just gonna say torture. Again, this is blind, but just genre implications. That's where I'm gonna shotgun things. All right, and let's start with hard. Oh, hey! Outlast contains intense violence, gore, graphic sexual content, and strong language. Please enjoy. You're Miles Ipsure, an investigative reporter whose ambition is about to earn him an intimate tour of hell on Earth. Always willing to risk digging into the stories no other journalist would dare investigate, you will seek out the dark secret at the heart of Mount Massive Asylum. Stay alive as long as you can and record everything. You're not a fighter. To navigate the horrors of Mount Missive and expose the truth, your only choices are to run, hide, or die. Cool. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. This is uh, hmm. this is a great place to drive in the middle of the night. Why am I driving here at night? My dude, come here in the middle of the day. You just like gonna break in? Uh, I feel like we're invited. What is this fucking parking? Confidential. Tip. Illegal activity at Murkoff. Psychiatric systems. You don't know me. I have to make this quick. They might be monitoring. I did two weeks of software consult at Murkoff Psychiatric Systems Facility in Mount Massive. All sorts of NDAs. I am very much breaking right now, but seriously, fuck those guys. Terrible things are happening there. Don't understand it. Don't believe half the things I saw. Doctors talking about dream therapy going too deep. Finding something that had been waiting for them in the mountain. People are being hurt, and Murkoff is making money. It needs to be exposed. Yeah, that was a sneeze. Yeah, I don't think uh, that little press pass is gonna do do much to protect us. Oh, so tab, notes, and documents. All right, we have no notes. We have the whistleblower document. All right. Oh, that mouse sensitivity is pretty bloody high. Let's uh, turn that down a little bit. I feel like they didn't do much. And we certainly have some good ambiance so far. That's a big crouch. All right, kind of hard to get eye level with these pictures to look at them. Oh, look, it's it's Halloween. Perfect. Uh, kind of weird that there's no guard here. Can we uh, can we hack their systems? I, I guess I'm, I'm not much of a hacker man. I'm more of a reporter man. 
I okay. can't click on anything. Can I, can I make a phone call out? No? No? All right. Well, bugger. Okay. Um. Do I have like a flashlight? Oop. My camcorder. To open a door quickly, press left, left mouse. To open a door slowly... Okay. Right mouse button. Event recorded. I start feeling sick just looking at this place. Mount Massive Asylum. Shut down amid scandal and government secrecy in 71... Reopened by Murkoff's psychiatric systems in 09, under the guise of a charitable organization. So firm reception cut off abruptly a mile out, more like a jammer than a lost signal. The Murkoff Corporation has a long track record of disguising profit as charity, but never on American soil. Whatever they thought they could get out of this place has to be big. Might finally be the story that breaks the bastards. All right, all right. So we have a we have a notorious uh, big company doing shenanigans. Notes are only added when our camcorder is raised to record a bet. I see. So if we don't record it, it didn't happen. So far, this is actually kind of giving me the urge to uh, get Thief, because uh, Thief Two. Yeah, it's kind of spoopy. Running around places. I don't think I can open this door. Nope, it's locked. Alright, what do we got over here? Shit. Nothing. I, I, need, I need to turn that sensitivity down even more. Much better. Never played Thief, but you heard it's amazing. I only played Thief 2 The Metal Age, but it was pretty darn good. I know Hatchling Me kind of got stuck on an area, but I never completed it proper. Alright, so we can probably crouch through there. Kind of weird we have, like, these do not look like... Shush, coyote. And these are like military vehicles. More so than like an ambulance kind of thing. I drink the water. Yeah. And then I have to go put the water somewhere else five minutes later. All hours of the day. All hours of the night. No matter what I'm doing, my life is interrupted by this. Oh, we got leaning. Yeah, yeah, got me, got me with the jumping already. Taking this one section of Soul Reaver, never managed to beat it. Yeah, God, Soul Reaver was such a good game. Shame about the legacy of Kane. This feels more like a crawl than a crouch. Not gonna lie. would murder for a completion of that series. Oh, we can zoom in and out. Interesting. I'm guessing we have to climb up to that open window, but let's check the door first. All right, not too bad. Certainly in the tutorial area before they start all the music. <sighs> Don't like that. Oh, fuck you. All right. 
Oh, music and sound design, pretty good. Oh, it's pretty good. Oh. No. Great. That's, that's great. Our camcorder has a battery. That's fine. Okay. Okay. All right, I think the, the night vision cuts it out even faster. Let's try and minimize that. Record the evidence. Oh no. Oh no. Religious iconography in my horror game? Why, never. Who could, who could believe such a thing? Hearing the ticking of a clock. Or is it something tapping against? Can I like grab the curtains? No. There's the clock. Now I'm done. I have not played any Alien games, honestly. I don't know. Alien as a franchise isn't too scary for me. Does your model change its color depending on the lights? Really cool. Yeah! I tried to do some initial setting up of that. I don't know how well I tuned it. Hmm. Hmm. Never beat it because you're too picky. Uh. Left mouse boat. Left mouse button to close. Why did I lock myself in here? Play it by myself at night in the dark. Nothing that might interrupt. That's hard. Yeah. I imagine. Ooh. Ooh, a battery. Ooh, a battery. <laughs> we have to reload our camcorder. Noted. That's great. Yeah, I remember that's how I played Amnesia the Dark Descent. Is I would only play it with, like... I, I think I had noise-canceling headphones at the time. So I'd play that in the dead of night with nobody around to interrupt me. Um... 10 out of 10 was extremely scared. Bloody footprints. What's not very good? Oh, I'm pressing the wrong button to open. I have a phone off the hook. Ooh. What's this document? Case number 174, patient WPH Billy. Consultation, therapy status. Patient claims to have progressed to self-directed lucid dream states. Morphogenic engine activity observed at unprecedented scale. Continuing stage four hormone schedule. Diagnostics. Spirometry revealed no bronchial accumulation. Hematocrit centrifuge again failed to separate erythrocytes. Highly worrisome. MRI revealed arrhythmic REM in REM cycle. Laughter in in REM state. Interview notes. Billy asked about the status of his mother's lawsuit against Murkoff and the asylum. This represents a catastrophic breach in security. 
despite Billy's claims that he discovered the truth in the blood dreams of Dr. Traeger. Note, the only Dr. Traeger on company records, one Richard Traeger, is an executive from MRD. All orderlies and security personnel must be questioned and video security improved to include analytical biometrics. All right, Billy. Anchor from even the most janky, lame horror games or a hundred thousand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I still want, I still have Phasma waiting to play in VR sometime. I need to, I need to get my VR legs again so I can, I can do that. And also play Half-Life Alex. Hmm. Okay, I don't need to go to the bathroom anymore. Piss me pants. I imagine my model doesn't quite convey, like, my wide-eyed stare at that ductwork. Be like, I'm watching you. I'm watching you! I had to sacrifice the space for an actual dining table. Ooh, that doesn't look so great. Yeah, sometimes the downside is VR does kind of take a lot of space. Especially if you don't want to risk uh, hitting anything. Um, in my old place, I basically could not move at all. Or else I would be hitting the glass of my... Uh, the The... The glass windows of my reptile enclosures. Um, I actually like draped like a spare blanket and like some padding to kind of protect it because I would get concerned. This is, it is a very tight squeeze. All right, so we have spooky duct or the piss room. Um. Or maybe this? Nope, can't go that way. Alright. Nope. Alright, so no pissers. Super cool to get an Omni treadmill. Are those like commercially available kind of things? I always thought those things are like super expensive, so you. But, yeah, being able to be in place and actually walk around would be amazing. They announced it? Ooh, I might need to... Basically disappeared and then came back. Jeez. There, two roof sets it. Yeah. I mean, at minimum... I would really like something that keeps the index's wire out from getting tangled in my legs. Um, interesting. Why do I get the spooky violin and then it suddenly cuts out? Hmm. I don't think I've seen the catwalk. So there's someone running around. Oh, I feel like something's gonna happen if we fall out. Oh, oh, it's saved. Oh. Oh, fantastic. Oh, that's great. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, bud. Hmm. 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 Ah! Ah! Me. 
Let me just... Let me just move my drinks a little bit further away so I don't accidentally hit them when I flail around. <laughs> oh, God. I was, like, in the middle of doing that, I was thinking, like, you know, what's the point of doing, like, the immediately throwing open the door? Like, wouldn't that alert anyone around? And then just immediately, like, the jump scare happened and just... <laughs> Ah, all right, all right, I'm fine, I'm fine, this is fine. We got it on camera. Um, I feel like if we try to go back in the library, we'll die. So, I'm not going to bother. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the music's high tension, all right. <laughs> I don't think I closed that door. Oh. Oh, I have to go. Oh, <laughs> fuck me. Maybe I can push this. No. Oh, oh, that's the OK. So I saw that guy go through and close that door. Right. OK. Now I get it. All right, so we can't get through there. Can we climb over the detris? All right, we have to go back in the library. Is he dead? Oh, that's not good. Doesn't have a head. I feel like our person's very much forgetting this now. No head. Hmm. A whole bunch of skulls. Oh, this isn't gonna be great. Oh, that's my cob. Yikes. <laughs> oh! <coughs> oh, he's still alive? They killed us. They got out. The variants. You can't fight them. You have to hide. You can unlock the main doors from security control. <laughs> You have to get the fuck out of this terrible place. Oh no, no, I, I, I'm with you. I gotta get the fuck out of here. I know, we're low on battery. I'm waiting to reload. Stealth dodging. Ah, oh, fuck. Guess you could say they're ahead on things. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 I guess you could say that. All right, I lost sight of the dude. Where did he go? Yeah, our, our character is pretty fucking spooked. Am 
Right, I think he went to the right, so let's go left. Go ahead and reload our camera. Locked. All right. Okay. So goals. Little fake. Oh! Oh, Shice! Shice! Fuck! Oh! Blood and ashes. Oh no. Oh, jeez. And who are you then? Oh, uh, is that the fucking dude with the cross necklace painting? I. I see. Merciful God, you have sent me an apostle. Guard your life, son. You have a calling. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. Did he take our camera? <laughs> New objective, escape the asylum. <laughs> I'm inside. I'm inside. Bodies everywhere. Blood, burn marks, heads lined up like bottles behind a bar. Dead Murkoff scientists hung from the ceiling. They're about to say <laughs> Murkoff advanced research systems. Murkoff's longtime MO has been to profit off the exploitation of supposed charity. Fuck the third world and bankroll another billion. How did Murkoff think they would make money off a building full of crazy people? There's, there's some kind of tactical cop pin like a pig on a spit. Tells me to get the fuck out and then dies. Would have been a good thing to hear when I could still leave the way I came. Alright, so I still have my camera. Um... Hmm... Murkoff Corporation. We're here to milk you for millions. Alright, so we got a new document. Matter... Of the seizure of Mount Massive Psychiatric Center, Murkoff Psychiatric Center, da, 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 da. affidavits. Oop. Affidavits having been made before the board of directors by Murkoff Hardline Security, who has the reason to believe catastrophic security failure of psychiatric center with imminent danger of environment cont contamination. You are satisfied that the affidavits and testimony establish sufficient evidence to require urgent action on the part of MHS and grounds for the issuance of this warrant. You are hereby required to grant MHS full access to all facilities and surrender complete authority to its agents. By acceptance of this document, you and any surviving relatives surrender all claims of litigation against the Murkoff Corporation or its subsidiaries for the actions of MHS or the circumstances which required their actions, regardless of responsibility. Stretch. Get the spoops out of the bones. All right. Uh, ah. All right, so... Their internal security system, internal security PMC, whatever, rolled up to take control of what was going on here. And it looks like they weren't really able to get control because shit's still fucked. That is a solid door, all right. All right, so there's that dark hallway. How about we don't go down there yet? Um, I feel like we should find at least a battery over here. Come on. 
The downside to having like a reloading camera is I absolutely could see a situation where you are just fucked because you have no camera, so you have no use of the the night vision. But I imagine there is a limited number of batteries. I wonder if the higher difficulty also is just like less batteries. So you got to be more economical. So that's because it's not like there's a combat system. More of a get the fuck away system. Oh, I see something glowing. Project Wall Rider. Patient initials CLW Walker. Therapy says. Morphogenic engine activity plateaued at roughly 2,000 parts per million. Unsafe to progress beyond stage 3 hormone schedule. Diagnostics. Spirometry revealed light to medium bronchial accumulation. MRI scans consistent with patients' reported dreams. Interview notes. Walker was interviewed in restraints following his self-inflicted mutilations. Restraints have had to be altered to accommodate his enormous size. Extensive dermal eruptions as consistent with failed morphic engine cellular activity. He claims the skin ripped from his forehead allows for a truer way of seeing, seems to have boyhood experience with Duatra lizards and their parietal eyes. He's expressed anxiety about his flesh, spe specifically around his lips and nose. Attending orderlies should be advised to watch for further self-mutilation. The mental traumas he sustained while serving in Afghanistan seem to be re retarding progression of the ME progress. His predominant fixation, amplified by therapy, is a manic exaggeration of military security protocol. A continuation of both chemical and physical restraints is highly recommended. Dermal eruptions, morphogenic engine cellular activity. So it seems they're doing some biological experiments. So this morphogenic engine is doing something to them biologically. And something is coming out of their skin. I don't know what a parietal eye is. Because a Tuatra lizard is not familiar to me. They're also talking about reviewing their dreams. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Oh, why are you giving me the peat tutorial? Why are you calling it out specifically like that? Also, give me more batteries. Game. Please. The photosensitive parts of... The okay. I see. Hmm. Hmm. I feel like we can't go that way. Let's look at that other path we noticed. In the dark of the night, they w you know what? Why that's not a good song to just start singing. Never mind. Let's uh let's put that on a shelf. Not the time. <laughs> Some animals, like certain lizards and snakes and amphibians, have them. It's a third eye of sorts. Oh, is it like the like the subdermal eye that sort of like can detect like uh uh like red light sort of thing? Like certain certain things. Like I remember when I was doing a lot of research to make a vivarium that would fully mimic uh the environment. I was really concerned about the the exact um color makeup of the LEDs because like cheaper LEDs might be 
like higher spikes in certain wavelengths and i think uh certain reptiles amphibians and fish are more sensitive to specific wavelengths of light I feel like if I went that way, it would be a literal dead end. Alright, seems like we actually have three paths. There's the darkness way, and then there's over here. Hmm. Yeah, it was like, I want to say it was like red light because it can, like, get or use some kind of UV light. Yeah, I think, I think, I think I vaguely know, I think, I think I'm tracking now. So let's see, we need to get to the security room. That's to the security room. So, what's the over-under that it's not going to be as simple as just going to the security room? You know, this suspiciously well-lit hallway with an exit sign at the end. Hmm. I see. Noted. Alright, so... Yeah, I think that's going to be another dead end. I'm trying to make a funny. Stop interrupting me. Stop it. You gave me a battery. Don't make me regret it. Okay, I think we're good. Um, that looks like security. Can we get to that door? Just need... I'm like side eyeing so fucking hard. Oh, we have to go find a badge, aren't we? We need a badge in. This door needs a key card. Ah! <laughs> All right. Um. I guess let me actually look around that person's body. Is there a key card around you, my dude? Any key cards? Any key cards in chat? No? No key cards. No key cards! Back to exploring. Alright, so now we have downstairs and down a dark hallway. The downstairs will be the electric room, which does actually sound promising. Where was the dark hallway? I think it's here. Yes, so there's the dark hallway both these ways. Okay. I see something flickering. Ooh. Another battery. 
radio. It's kind of interesting how they don't give you a flashlight. You have to use a night vision on your camera. I think that's a, a very efficient mechanic. I also like how the camera, like the time, goes up as I have it out, up at the top left corner. Pretty good camera if it runs off simple AA batteries. Yeah, but it is a, it, it is a bit of an energy hog, because it is draining them pretty fast. Especially when we have the, uh, light on. All right, we have a limited all areas. We have just the dead end and the electrical area. Let's go down, down, down. Oh, this does not inspire confidence. Oh, that's not good at all. That leaves me only one way to go. Oh, I hate this. Oh, I hate this. You think the camera would use those big batteries that aren't very fun to put your tongue on? <laughs> yeah, the, uh, the D batteries. Oh, big old chonkos. Actually, I th think I have a, ca well, it's not like a, this is like more robust than like a camera. It's like a recorder. I was about to say, like, I do have a camera that I think takes double A's, but it's just, just a camera. And like, it can, it can do some recording, but I mean, it's not like the hand cam like this. All right, I th think this is the only way for us to go, so I'm just gonna... I feel like this can't be it. I feel like this will, this will kill me. But maybe it's a cutscene thing, and I have to get scared for progress to open up. Maybe? Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a big drink of coffee real quick. All right, Jackie, I cannot believe you would inflict such a pun on me personally in the stream title. I don't even remember what the title is. What's the pun? What what pun did I put? I just realized I can't see the stream title while I'm in game. Yep, we're gonna give this guy some big ol' smooches. Hey. Friend? Friend? You, uh... You okay there? Watching static. Hey guys, what's uh going on in here? Just having a good old good old time. I kind of recommend watching a dead channel. They look like patients, they survive, whatever happened. Yeah, no, bro, it's totally okay. Yeah, it's, hey guys, it's real, real cool. Uh, good, good chat. Good, uh, it's just, uh, just, uh, just get away from the creepy woman voice. <sighs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Mm. Mm, don't like it. All right, we need a security badge. We need a security badge. I am, I am like wound up so fucking tight. Oh. I'm like waiting for the shoe to drop. Maybe Mr. E.B. can help you find it. I, 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 I think we should let the dude rest. I think he's perfectly fine. Kind of weird how so many just have their heads removed. Feels very specific. Well, I guess the only place we haven't gone is to the very end of this hallway. Or the shitter. Alright, I guess... Check in here. Witness. I see. Where to be to all hell, picking broken glass out of my scout, a couple cracked ribs, nearly killed by a deformed giant. Looks like somebody tried to fuck start his head with a cheese cr- <laughs> Oh, that is, that is some phrasing. Throws me through a wall, knocks me unconscious. Wake up and some doughy old man with a face like an alcoholic kitty. Damn, dude. In a homemade priest outfit, calls me his apostle. Not a job I asked for. There are words scrawled, scrawled in blood everywhere, getting an ugly feeling in my gut that the priest is writing them, and for my benefit. Ma looks cool, dark and spooky. Thanks! I haven't messed with the, the, the lighting effects before, and, and I wasn't... I know I tried a couple times with the, uh, um, like, recoloring to be Halloween, but I wasn't happy with the colors I could make it. Um, it was kind of like I couldn't get it as granular as I would like. But I thought I'd try out the screen lighting instead. And I think uh, this is pretty good for spoopy spoopiness. Gotta hand it to them. Listen here, you little shit. Fucking. Where's my button? Where's my fucking button? Where's my button? Listen here. Listen here, you little shit. I fucking. I fucking. Fucking, I see what you did there. I don't have to appreciate it. All right. You leave your hands where you grabbed them. <laughs> Little shit, I mean, we are in the... Damn it, Aurora! Just because you're technically correct does not make you right. Okay. Says the serpent that put out first in the title. Wait, what? Ah! Yeah. Now I remember. <laughs> Yeah, now, now I remember. Alright, he went right, so we go left. We're gonna close this behind us. Stop slamming the fucking door! Alright, that wood is expensive. From Helen Granat, Project Wall Rider on site inspection. This says, the full report pending, no immediate action is required on the part of Murkoff Corp. The profit potential for Project Wall Rider remains staggeringly high. The four fatalities contain enough ambiguous data to make any litigation, if evidence is correctly managed, impossible. Project Wall Rider remains a dangerous initiative, and there will be almost certainly be further casualties. 
As with the others, however, family and government interest in the patients is so low as to make any chance of legal actions vanishingly unlikely. Violence among patients is increasing as the morphogenic engine therapy gets closer to producing a working models, but a combination of physical and chemical restraints has proven sufficiently effective to assure continued protocol and profit. Respectfully, Helen Grenat. Murkoff lit Legal lit Mitigation. Legal Mitigation Department. G great. Any chance of legal action is vanishing unlikely. Leaves note saying this out loud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is this is very that that has the same energy as. Uh, are you taking notes during a conspiracy? This guy tried to do a flip. Poor bastard, conked his head right on the desk. Alright, so we still do not have a security key. Ooh. Ooh. And normal. Yeah, I figured. That just leaves the door that the dude went into. Mmm. Breathing in his heart. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Nope, it's locked. Why should we have to pay for it? Why do we have to die? Walker will kill us for being sick. Walker. I think Walker, one of these scientists. I don't know if he's the priest. All right. Um. Um, where have we... Where can, where can we look for the key card? I'm not really sure where else to go. Miles, buddy, you need to work out or something to improve your cardio? I, f I feel like the issue is... Miles' issue is more the, 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 the borderline panic attack from all the spooky shit going on than uh, being, like, out of shape. Alright, I wonder if there's something I need to be jumping up and grabbing, maybe? I don't think I've been paying attention to, like, any place I can climb... Maybe hit the button again? Nah, there's no chance. Where the f... Frick, frack, nick, knack, give a dog a bone... ...is the key card. Hmm... Hmm... I... F Feel like we've looked everywhere. Um, there's this guy's body. Can't grab the walkie talkie. 
Why can't we just break this? Oh, there's metal, actual metal. Never mind. I was like, why don't we just break this glass and just GTFO? But yeah, I actually can't. What about Mr. EP and their friends? I didn't see anything on them to grab. I mean, I guess I could actually walk all the way into that room. Maybe there's something elsewhere in there I could interact with. Um, how do I get... Right, I need to go through here. Hmm, go over here, here, I don't see anything on him, go in here, From... why is, there are like 500 random possible sound effects. And it always seems to pick the one that's the worst. Alright, so... There was, like, a place to crawl through. We're over here. Oh, okay, that guy's dead. Something's gonna happen when I go in here. That guy's gonna fucking shock awake. I'm gonna grab the key card and he's gonna grab me. Mm, every time I predict something and nothing happens, I get even more anxious! Oh, bro's neck folded like an omelet? <laughs> Drecky, why would you random sound effect yourself like this? You know, the random sound effects were funny at the time. I didn't consider the full implications of the random sound effects. Although I am glad I did remove a bunch of ones that would be mega uncomfortable if they happened in a horror setting. Yeah, nothing don't really need, like, wet, slappy sound in, uh, this situation. The horrors of random sounds is just the beginning. <laughs> is he gonna grab me? Ah! Oh, fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck off! Fuck off, dude! Fuck off, dude! Fuck off, dude! Fuck off, dude! Oh! <laughs> mm, I knew it. I, I knew that. I knew something would change. Something would fucking change. The key card was clear progress. Oh! <sighs> okay. Mr. Not So EP now, yeah. You know, it says it says we can't fight back, but I feel like we threw a pretty good right hook there. The doctor is dead and we have killed him. We're probably gonna go in the security room. Note you can look behind you while running. Why would you tell me this here? At, at this situation right now? Wh why? Is this just no specific reason? Huh? Uh, is it just, just randomly like, hey, by the way, if you haven't noticed, uh, you can look behind you while you're running, you know? While you go up to this hallway? Just no reason. Uh, let's practice. So if I do this... Can I take out my camera? Can I run with my camera out? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. All right. Mm. 
Miles, how are you not giving yourself whiplash? I know. They lie. I see. Go ahead and get footage of everything real quick. Good stuff. We got a lot of we got a lot of beeps. A little bit a little bit of booping going on. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yep. Yep. These are definitely cameras. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Alright, that's the camera. Alright, of this the okay, those stairwell cameras, right? Wonder how much storage is on that camera? Definitely, we, we've definitely got, you know, the big, the big SSDs, you know, they've, they've gotten pretty damn huge these days. <laughs> Time to do some ticka tapa hacker man. Oh, why is it? Motherfucker. Restart the generator in the basement. Hide in the locker? Let's mm -hmm. mm, Big fucker is stalking me. Found a patient file for a Chris Walker, ex-military police, several tours in Afghanistan. A lot of the blood in this place is on his hands, but not all of it. <laughs> Did he fucking open? Oh, gods, blow and ever burning. Let's go this way. Okay, so here I need to go downstairs to the electrical. It's now open. All right. Figured this was going to happen. I feel like you don't want flooding to be happening in electrical. This seems like a pretty big hazard. I feel like we're gonna zap ourselves. All right. It, oh, fuck, MK Ultra. Um. Okay. If people are not aware of MK Ultra, um. That is one of the really fucked up things uh, the uh, government has done experimenting on people. Um, it is truly horrific and is just the worst. Um, so that's not a good opening situation. So... If they're referencing MK Ultra, I imagine some of whatever they were doing here is inspired by what they were doing. Let's see, hypnotic experimentation and research. Uh, yeah, I think I'm trying. It's been a minute, but I think like a lot of the goal was trying to make like use hypnosis and drugs to brainwash people into being like a sleeper agent that they could activate on a, basically do like a born identity thing um, during the um, Cold War kind of stuff. Um, it's not good, not good. Oh, they're saying the MK Ultra was happening here at Mount Massive. I don't know if this is like real life MK Ultra stuff 
Um, but for the purposes of this setting. A post-hypnotic of the night before, pointed finger, you will sleep, was enacted. Mrs. Jackson and Pierce immediately progressed to a deep hypnotic state with no further suggestion. Miss Pierce was then instructed, having previously expressed a fear of firearms in any fashion, that she would use every method at her disposal to awaken Miss Jackson, now in a deep hypnotic sleep. And failing this, she would pick up a nearby pistol and fire it at Miss Jackson. She was instructed that her rage would be so great that she would not hesitate to kill Jackson for failing to awaken. Miss Pierce carried out these suggestions to the letter, including firing the unloaded pneumatic pistol gun at Jackson, and then proceeding to fall into a deep sleep. After proper suggestions were made, both were awakened and expressed complete amnesia for the entire sequence. Miss Pierce was again handed the gun, which she refused, in an awakened state, to pick up or accept from the operator. She expressed absolute denial that the foregoing sequence had happened. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Cool, 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 cool. Note, this is not cool. This is fucked up. Got like the, the violin bees going on. Amnesia? Like the dark descent? To vault, spacebar while moving towards waist high objects. Alright. Who's there? Nobody. Violin bees? Yeah. Someone's gonna break through that, and we're gonna have to just run. Nope. Never mind. Turn on the two gas pumps and the main breaker to restart the generator. I see. Hardcore God Miles shouldn't be making should be making videos for YouTube. Yeah. Is uh yeah yeah uh, uh he, he made a he made, he obviously cameoed in uh Mirror's Edge. You know, but they, they couldn't afford to hire Miles for the whole game. You know, they, they can only have like a little area. Fine, I'll reload. Um, I don't know where these gas pumps and generators are. Alright, I think this is one gas pump. Good shit. Um, let's see. Oh, no. Oh, no! Can't see shit! first death. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Oh. Miles rolling into Mount Massive Asylum. Parkour!